pump oils and foods to help you manage bad cholesterol and the last four oils will help prevent the oxidation of bad cholesterol yes when the bad cholesterol interacts with oxygen they become more sticky and more resistant and more difficult to pull out or to deal with that is why you need to listen to the end the top foods you need to start including are oats oats contains soluble and insoluble fiber to help manage bad cholesterol we know fiber is very important most of the leafy teas are also great for your cholesterol like green tea black tea mint tea dandelion tea misto to tea and a host of fennel seed tea fenugreek seed tea so many of these cumin tea they are all good for managing cholesterol but some of these uh, teas have more potency i mean nutrients that are more potent in pulling out bad cholesterol other foods are black-eyed cowpea you need protein and other some other beans to help you to get the needed nutrient that you need to in order to replace the bad cholesterol because that is the problem when you remove the bad cholesterol you need to replace them with a quality food like proteins i mean plant-based proteins like black-eyed cowpea then you need also to start including foods like okra that are great for your cholesterol fresh tomatoes i mean using the okra to make your soup you can add okra to it they are great for your cholesterol also then fish oil that is fatty fish like sardines occasionally is great for your cholesterol because they are source of omega-3 omega-3 food sources are great also when you are dealing with bad cholesterol foods like avocados they are great for your cholesterol avocados almonds they are great for your cholesterol these are foods yogurt yogurt is a milk uh, uh, sauce but i've noticed recently that yogurt is also great because of the probiotics and when you consume yogurt like adding yogurt to your oats in the morning you will notice that there is added protein in it and you will feel good and well because it has complete amino acids if you are avoiding milk eggs and all this stuff including meat most times you may consume foods but they contain incomplete amino acids so your body may not be able to utilize it and over time you may start to suffer nutrient deficiency which could cause other health issues and so try replacing milk with yogurt but don't overdo the yogurt because that's what i do occasionally you can add it to your oats you can i do add it also to my fermented i mean tapioca i mean the white fermented tapioca in little amount because it has fiber and does not come with trans fats because the worst enemy when you are dealing with bad cholesterol are the trans fats those processed trans fats from bread biscuit and all this stuff other foods you need to start including also to help manage the your bad cholesterol are onions, garlic, turmeric, ginger tea, those citrus like oranges, then adding the lemon juice to your warm water therapy. It's also great for your cholesterol. Then let's listen to these four oils that can help if you suspect the oxidation of bad cholesterol. And the, one of the, of the mistakes we can make to cause the bad cholesterol even to oxidize is by taking cold water. And so avoid cold water also as much as you can if you are dealing with bad, high bad cholesterol. If, the, if possible, make the water to be warm. And then add your warm water in the morning. Add lemon juice occasionally to order, in order to prevent the, the oxidation of the bad cholesterol. But the top oil that I use whenever I suspect that are sesame seed oil try it it works it's a source of protein then fenugreek seed oil these are oils you can see because i told us before that it takes fat to destroy fat 
fenugreek seed oil on empty stomach just a small amount helps to break down cholesterol also and stop insulin control insulin resistance sometimes they merge up with insulin resistance and then it looks as if it's a decision is complicated then you need to start including ginger oil occasional ginger oil it helps to break down bad cholesterol too yes these are the common oils that you can start to include if you are dealing with bad cholesterol and you suspect they are about to get oxidized at any point mostly on empty stomach olive oil sesame seed oil fenugreek seed oil and then ginger oil these are my top oils if i suspect the oxidation of bad cholesterol do not overdo it too much of every good thing will even give you a bad result other foods that will also help are your pure cocoa the bitter cocoa occasional pure cocoa is also great for you if you are dealing with bad cholesterol include occasional soya beans most of the plant-based add all the leafy greens leafy greens are great for you because they are low in calorie and they will help they contain fiber most of the time to help pull out the cholesterol and most of the citrus like vitamin c rich foods i mean antioxidant rich foods vitamin e rich foods all of them are great if you are trying to uh, deal with high bad cholesterol to manage it or to, the, to click the follow button if you like this message 